So let's talk about the cows, Fikra, these are paying for everything. These are paying for everything. Um, what type of cow is it? Yeah, they're black and white generally up to, up to, up to about three or four years ago. Um, and then our discussion group kind of went, went, went to a, a kind of a tour down to Waterford. Down to, um, we kind of saw, we kind of saw Jersey Cross down there and we, they were, they were well bred, a good capacity, a good capacity Jersey Cross like, or Jersey, yeah. Jersey Cow like, with good capacity and kind of very strong and good odour and good capacity, yeah. good capacity in the yeah, belly like. Yeah, physically, yeah. Do you know, whether I thought, I was kind of, I was saying this for a number of years that the high BI ones, they're getting very narrow and very tall and they weren't, they weren't able to produce the fat and protein that, that they were supposed to be doing on paper. Um, on your system in a way. On the system, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now this year, it's just happened to be a combination, like the protein, the protein's very good this year, the fat is, is higher than last year, that kind of thing, and they're very content. We're on the 24, 36 hour grazings. Um, they had a good start in the spring. They got they got fed well in the springtime with with the, with the maize and silage and the meal, and it just kind of gave them a great start. Okay. Um, but of course, it was the weather that kind of the combination of having to get out early. Yeah. Um, you were able to keep control of grass. It's it's very good that way, like. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, the paddock in the moment is only is only a one a one grazing paddock. Um, happen to be beside the house, but. Yeah. A lot of obstacles around in it, like in yours. <laughs> There's a safety tank in it, there's trees in it, there's water, yeah. electric pole, there's everything inside in it. So I used to be, you have to kind of find it, you have to leave it go a bit stronger to get the grazing out of it. Um, so, but then again, they're only there for one grazing. They go into a, they go into a, a, a freshly baled thing this evening, they'll go in there for 24 hours. Right. So you just kind of just match it up that way. Yes. Um, but generally, yeah. Very I we're, we're in the first year of the crossbeds this year. Yes. They're milking very, yeah, I'm very happy with them. Um, there's one there in front of us now. That, um, the lady on the right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so why yeah. would you put her in calf to there now? She went probably in black and white again, back yeah. to Frisian again. Yeah. Uh, so when you're selecting, for, so we're in the mating season there now, so we're in a few weeks into what, so are you selecting on EBI or what, what are you selecting on? Um, you're selecting on, 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 on I, I bred all Frisian to the, above my, above the herd average. Yeah. So everything above the herd average has, has got, has got, um, a Frisian generally. Bar, bar, it's lame or bar, it's a late calving or, you know, all that kind of stuff, all those problems because our cows are with bad temperament, you kind of take them off it. Um, but in general, um, they're all going after Frisian, they're all sexed, um, so... And everything, everything under the average thing gets, gets a beef bull. Okay. Um, but uh, this year there's, there's Charlie, there's Belgian Blue, there's Limousine, Hereford and Angus. Yeah. And so are you, pick, see on the beef side, are you picking those particular breeds based on the cow or is this random? It was, beef, done, it was done on sour advice. Right. So we pick, yeah. we got, we put our bulls and the sour advice kind of selected to the beef bulls, whatever yeah. they're going to. Yeah. Um, so good, and you're all AI. You were saying to me earlier, no bulls. There's been no AI, bulls here for no a long bulls. time. There's no bulls here since not since 2000, maybe two. And now, and now was on with the heifers. We we used to get an Angus bull with the heifers. That was yeah. it. We never had we never had bulls with the cows. Yeah, um, it was never done. My grandfather never had it. My yeah, father never wanted it. But um, okay, I suppose to, to aid you, you're using a mix of colours and um, yeah, it's all yeah. dairy master colours. Um, I find him. I generally kind of people ask ring him up and ask him about them and um, I said all the system do all the same. It's what you do with the information on the phone that, that makes yeah. the difference. Whether you act or not, or whether you act or not, whether yeah. you're whether you're sitting down in front of the computer or sitting in front of your phone and you're reading the trends of what that cow does or reading whether she's cycling regularly or whether she's okay. Whether you in the springtime there in the, come the first of April are you accepting the heats that she's on to build up a picture of every okay. three weeks? Yeah. Are you picture Are you building up the picture of is she is she cycling or is she not cycling? Is she doing different stuff? So it's not just getting the collars and the collars will pick them out, whatever. Yes. It, it, there is a bit of work in them, like. Yes. So that's, at the end of the day, they're only an aid, and they're only an aid if if you use it. Yeah. Do you know? Um, the, I I was finding the tail paint was perfect. It was very, it was very good, like. 
Um, when I was in the Orla Parlour, I was able to tailpaint them all at the back, back of the, back of when I joined the milking, like whatever. But it was just, I was younger then. I was able to do it. I was able to do the, the tail painting. I was able to do the eye yeah. I was able to do the milking yeah. all in the morning. But my breakfast is at twelve o'clock every day. Like I know, do you know? Yeah. Um, your two and a half hours milking. You were tail painting as well, and then you were yeah. doing the IM as well. There was no need for a gym a class anyway. No, so, but that was just, yeah, that was just. But I went to the collars then, I just went cold turkey straight. Um, it was just, dropped the tail paint and went straight to the collars. And that was 2017. So production wise, typically what are they doing in a year or? Daily at the moment, say. Um, they're on about 26, 20, 26 and a half litres at the moment. Yeah. Uh, um, they're at. What is it? What do you want? They're at 415 fat and 366 protein. Okay. Um, cell count 110. Um, so, your what performance last year? Roughly, what would you that deliver? That was 473 last year in kgs of solids. Yeah. Um, that was down on previous year. Like, was yeah. I just, I was just a year. Everyone was down the same thing. Everyone was all. Wasn't just my trend, but yes. It was a difficult year. Oh, it was, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, a difficult year when you get a good year after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this year just seems to be a pleasure, pleasure milking. You know, pleasure working with them and. Um, yeah, they're used. To, they're, they're, I suppose getting into one grazing now. They're used to getting their. They're used to getting their three grazings or two grazings. Yeah. But just one today now. They're just on the one grazing. Yeah. They're just a bit. Still. Yeah. Last, if you came out here last year, now they'd be up. They'd be up, up here straight here, and they'd be roaring. I showed yeah. you big time. If you looked out the window at them, like hearts were under pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. But generally, no, they're, they're in good nick. They're content. They're, you know, they're um. Yeah. yeah. So maybe just grazing infrastructure as we're out here, you've loads of gaps. And uh, a lot of gaps and a lot of troughs. Yeah. And they're the smaller troughs. I, got, I went with a 150 gallon trough. That was back going back years, but I've a lot of them around the place. Yes. So when you're in the springtime is when you're um, springtime when you have the option of gaps and troughs, you can kind of divide them down to smaller smaller blocks. With, okay. Depends on the code numbers that are there. Yes. But you can adjust them to that. Yeah. Uh, I like a lot of this, your father would have had it years back. He was always big into grazing, wasn't he? I was, I was with him in the late yeah. 90s, making a map and... Making a map, I suppose, Leona Foster he, and um, Alistair Ray and all this kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, he would have been involved over. He them, was yeah. involved in yeah. very early on and he was, he was big into that and tight grazings and grazing yeah. down very well and yeah. you no know, topping in as well and putting out your fertiliser and, you know, yeah, all that kind of stuff was just... It was, what he did, like, and he had, like, he remembers so many years not spending a, not spending more than a, a cement bag and cost of buying a cement, a cement bag, like, that was his cost, like, for the year, maybe, or something like that. Yeah. And just kind of holding. He stuck to the budget when he needed he stuck it. To, <laughs> that was it. Yeah. Like. But, uh, and that was a very restrictive period there in the late 90s. With it was, I suppose, wasn't it? I suppose yeah. all the interest rates and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it was easier to probably get money at that stage, but it was just, the interest rates were a killer. Yeah. You know, so... So you, you like your your spring load of gates there, do you? Those type. I like the spring load, but I like them white. Right. They're gone rusted. But okay. <laughs> just to see them. Generally, just to see them, especially with the with the, with the gates are going around. Or you send out the children to lock in the cows or something like that. Yeah. That you want to, the white ones are probably better, but I don't know why they rust. There's some so get some quality ones you can get. They're white all the time and warm, and they just rust. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things, I suppose. And have you fast filling valves? They're all the extra flow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The extra flow apex valves. Yeah, they're all. So and as we're so there as well, are, is the minerals? You've the minerals are all going there from, that, from, yeah, from the, the terrace. terrace. Yeah, the terrace system. So the terrace, it's all the terra piped pipe system all around the farm. So what extra is in the water there coming from the system? It's just the minerals, whatever yeah. minerals that they need. Um, is it extra zinc or something for for the hoof care? I suppose. Yeah. Um, it's just a general kind of a mineral mix. Yeah. Fertility mix, I think, is in at the moment. Like. Okay. Tate me um, then, say, is there anything for that or is that more in the feed? Uh, or bloat? No, there's no bloat. There's yeah. no bloat in it. Yeah. No, no. Okay. Um, no, it's not that I don't yeah. clover, but there's a bit, in, a bit of it there. But. Okay. Have you seen the results for it? 
Yeah, they're, they're, hold, they're very, in the condition wise, they're holding it and, and you can see them, they're kind of a better, a shinier, shinier kind of a colour, like, yeah. Um, yeah, especially in the springtime now, we had, we had we ran out of mag during this, during, on the, ran out of mag at the end of February. And we had, we had over a weekend and then we had, it ran out of mag or something for two or three days. And we had five, six cases of milk fever. All of a sudden, like, okay, we calved 200 cows before that, no problem at all, everything yeah. is perfect. Suddenly, bang, and then suddenly, over the weekend, it kind of it just hit that we must have ran out of mag or something, and just yeah. just happened to get the, the cows that calved that weekend. So, you're reseeding? Whereas, I have the opportunity to reseed an issue with the lower stocking rate, I suppose, and just you know, trying to get back to the grazing platform and get back, get back to grazing my own, my own land, we'll say. Mm. Because other than that, we were reseeding all the lease land. When we were getting it, we were, we were getting a lot of... We were reseeding all that over the last number of years. Okay. Um, There's a lot of it going on this year with people. There is, I suppose, yeah. It's, just, it's not just me, like, it's just the trend that everyone has, I suppose. Yeah, they're catching up. But um, if, with just the lower stock rate, I was able to take it out, like, and... Um, and I'm taking out silage round as well for... for reseeding as well, so that was... I was trying to do that for many years, over the last number of years, but it just wasn't happening. Okay. So as we're here now, what, what, what's the method of reseeding? What, what's your routine? This was, um, this was disked. Yeah. Disked twice, power harrowed. Um, then I rolled it. And then he seeded it, and then I rolled it again. Okay. I rolled it twice because after the, after the power harrowing, with the clover seed, that is, if it gets buried at all, that you you will never get it back. Like, but right. Um, so I just rolled it, make a good, a, a firm bed for this for the clover. Yeah. And then rolled it again afterwards. I put. Right. Um, and that's only done a week now. <coughs> we held off on the, from the dry, at the end of the dry spell. We were kind of ready for it, but we held off a small bit. Yeah. And we just got it done last Monday. Okay. Monday. Yeah, it's Monday week, I suppose. Yeah. Probably a lot done in that early May period where maybe we were sitting there for a while. We were sitting there for a while, yeah. Yeah, hopefully it'll come for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sure, that would just that got a shot that caught the rain on. Was it the Monday night or something like that? Yeah. And we received it on the Tuesday. Yeah, we received it on the Tuesday then, and we got a bang on like and it just okay. got rain afterwards. And lime. So we got lime as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Good. Yeah. Everywhere is well fenced. Just looking at it, do you do it yourselves or? No. Back in yeah, it wasn't we, we got I got a lot of it. All the lease ground was all redone. Yeah, it's all really Is this lease here? This is my uncle's farm, then. Okay. Yeah. All this triangle here from the sheds over there. It's where the young young Wayne's go. Right. Um. So my uncle's place there. So he's retired now. Yeah. And so I got that that plot. There's 30 acres there. Okay. Um. So yeah, just make a hole. There's a hole. A fence across there. Yeah. Made a hole in the ditch. This is the old railway line from Croom to. Crump to Brewery, Crump to Charva. Go away. This, this line here. Yeah. So I'm fearful of the greenways coming through here. <laughs> <laughs> to be fairly uh, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Small bit. Yeah. So that goes there over the Tullivan Bridge over, the, that Tullivan Bridge over there. Yeah. And it's the bridge you come over when you come over. Yeah. And it goes directly out, straight down there. Okay. So I don't know. Yeah. Who owns it or do I do? Hopefully we won't get CPO or anything like yeah. that. But, but anyway. There's only an hour by road up there that we can walk in that one. Okay. <laughs>